Nothing looks good. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do, even before you dig the hole, is look for the trunk taper. You want to find out where where the root zones are going to be growing. Um, as you can see, we're already knocking off three to four inches of dirt off the top of this one. The root flare right here. That's that's where you want your grade to be. You don't want to just get your bald and burl after a container tree and just throw it in a hole and put dirt over it because you're starting out with a problem. It's already too deep in the ground. Like Tim had said, you just want to kind of score the sides here. This one's in pretty good shape where there's not a lot of girdling roots. And that's there scoring the hole up, getting rid of that glaze. You can see how tight that is. You really got to push into that. And that's, that's another key when you're digging your hole is you want to go two thirds the size of your root ball. So you give that tree a couple of years at least of growth and disturbed soil. I'm trying to take a rough measurement here of where the root flare is to the bottom of the root ball so that way we get our proper planting depth. That's pretty dang close. What do you think? You want some out? It's always better to be just a hair high than, than too low. You definitely don't want to plant your trees too deep. Yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't want them four or five inches out of the ground, but if you're a half inch to an inch high, that's fine, because you're, you're going to get a little bit of settle. You know. You can, and sometimes you have to put them in and take them out. Yeah. Um, when you're when you're putting the soil back in around the tree, you want to make sure you tamp it. You don't need to, you know, jump up and down with all your weight on it, but you want to get any air pockets out of there because air pockets will cause those roots to uh, to dry up and die off. And then another little trick of the trade is to keep your container close by. So when you're done, you can take all your excess dirt and throw it in the container. One other thing to mention is uh, when you're installing your mulch, you don't want it right against the trunk. That'll cause trunk rot. Um, you want to make just kind of a little bowl outside of it, depending on the tree and how big your hole is, sometimes up to a foot out, but you just don't want it right against the trunk just just to, to get it in the ground and, and to have it happy and thrive for its entire life that's this is the most important key is is preparing before you even dig a hole okay so we did this one you guys get to do all the rest of them <laughs> <laughs>